Hey video game fans, this is Matt, back for some more Battletech Extended Action. And I'm already having to lie. Uh, I said that the next time I recorded, I would be on New Avalon. Well, I took a detour. So there were a bunch of worlds on my little course that were like junk worlds. And I noticed that there was, there were a few uh, black market worlds that were weren't far off the course so I detoured and landed on a few of those um, before I left the last system the last place that I did a mission I still had to, to do another pirate mission and something else and I did that and then I, I went to the next world um, I did another mission basically two missions in a row bad things happened first the my uh, uh, in an urban battle that was a tough battle it was a, a four or five I think it might have been a five skull mission it was a tough one um, but I was doing fine except that my opponents just kept pounding and pounding and pounding my uh, um, what was it called what's that stupid little guy called the flashman the one that kind of looks like a Pac-Man head with legs. Um, and it got just ripped apart. Uh, the Mech Warrior uh, punched out. Basically, the, all the weapons had been destroyed on the thing. Um, despite the fact I have a few people who are slowly getting more experienced with the Flashman, I decided I'd, I fixed it up. I didn't trash it. I didn't, I didn't scrap it. I fixed it up but I didn't replace any of the equipment, and then I sent it down to storage. In the very next battle that I fought, um, it was a normal battle, nothing special about it. I think it was a, a three or four uh, skull. I mean, I'd only been three skull mission, um, so I wasn't really worried about it. I had completely outclassed my opponents. They, they were using a lot of light mechs. And I was using my normal array of assault mechs and heavy mechs, so I definitely had the weight advantage. And I started the battle, and then I was like, ah, I took a break. Um, I went, had something to eat, watched some videos, came back, got involved back into the battle, and um, I lost a mech warrior, a Punisher. She is my, uh, she was my uh, uh, Marauder specialist. She had max mastered it. Um, she had the maximum level. She had 50 missions with this thing. And I was using her, I was using basically this this battle to give people experience in some of the other mechs and trying to get all the other mechs that weren't getting enough love into the fight. And one of the, her secondary mechs was the Awesome. So she was piloting the Awesome. Um, and it was going well. The battle, like I said, was going great. And a Jagger mech shot her in the head and killed her instantly. The mech hadn't even taken a scratch yet. When I salvaged it, when I came after the battle, basically all it did is it lost its head. That's it. Everything else was completely intact, and she's dead. Um, I fixed up the mech. That's not the problem. Um, but I lost my Marauder Specialist, and nobody else really was using the Marauder. Not the Marauder 2, the base Marauder, the one that the smaller one. Um, so I decided, you know, even though it's a good mech and it hadn't been knocked out of any combats and it, 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 it's, been, it's a solid mech, I decided, well, I want to give some other mechs, I want to get some other mechs back in the rotation and I had nobody else that was going to pilot this thing for the foreseeable future. So I sent it down to storage too. Since I was already sending the Flashman down, I might as well send two down and bring two new mechs up. And I brought up uh, the Hunchback again because that's always, even though it's a medium mech, it's a solid hitter, it's got, it's, it's got the punch that I love um, with the AC-20 and all the accoutrement with it. It's it's really geared up to do well. Uh, we'll see how it fares. It, I mean, it's a brick, but it's also going up against a lot of heavy and assault mechs. And, you know, who knows? We'll see. Uh, so I brought it up, and I also brought up a catapult because I have been longing for a third missile boat. Um, the, uh, the Crusader and the Archer are fine. But I usually have a, it's, I basically have a three, uh, eight man, you know, mech warrior rotation. And it's nice to have a missile boat in each of the three. I don't like, I mean, occasionally I will double them up. But if I want to have just one missile boat in, in a group, it's nice to have one for the each eight, a group of eight. So 
Uh, I haven't brought anything up since I had the uh, uh, longbow, and I wasn't going to bring the longbow back up, and I wasn't going to go back down and get a dervish or a, um, a javelin, the medium and light mix, respectively, missile boats. They're, they're fine, but again, their life expectancy of any of the mech warriors that pilot them is pretty low. So I decided, well, let's go get the catapult. I hadn't used one yet, um, although I do have a few people with catapult experience. I think that was controlling third-party mechs. I don't think it was any. I don't ever think. I don't think I ever had a catapult in my lineup. If I did, it was early on in the career mode. So disaster, disaster. And the last battle I was in, another almost near disaster. They ripped through my Ostal. Uh, my pilot punched out. I, I'm, I'm, I've yet to go in and see exactly how much damage it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure that out after the fight. But it definitely took some serious damage. I know I lost a big heat bank in there, which makes it more heat efficient. So I'm not sure what it, what the status is there. As you can see, I already got four mechs that are that are need to be fixed, and I got three more that are in the process of being fixed. I've been doing a series of four to five star, four, four to five skull missions. And it's hard to come out of these without at least losing one mech, or at least damaging several. All of these got damaged or from the last fight. This is the, the ones that just need to be simply repaired, and my Ostal is in bad shape. So I'm down to my last 11 functional mechs. I am my, down to my last 8 mech warriors who aren't tired in what is going to be the last fight, I think, on this world um, that I happen to be on. Uh, it's just going to be another urban fight, but it is five skulls. It's going to be hard. Uh, it's an assassinate. The last one I did was a base destruction. Before that, I did a base defense. So these urban missions can be brutal because of the... It's not the terrain so much as the elevated road areas. There's so many blockades, and your, your, your lances could be flung into the... Just not grouped together very well. And, ugh. This one shouldn't be as hard, but it is five skulls. I expect it to have some level of excitement. I definitely expect to take some damage. Um, I'm basically just, I picked the eight la the last eight mech warriors I had, and I put them, put them in mechs that they were experienced with as best I could, and this is the result. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'll kind of show you where I'm at after the battle because I am ready to move to the next system on my little journey. Um, I have been doing okay, though. I, I, I've been doing alternating my missions for the pirates, mostly against uh, the Federated Sons, and then doing Federated Sons missions to counteract. So I'm keeping both of them relatively high and happy. Um, I, every once in a while I'll get a mission that's against uh, the Capellans or the Directorate, and those are all great because I, I'm not, I don't care about my relations with them. I just wish they weren't doing so many missions against each other. Oh, great. We got an enemy longbow right in our back pocket. Oh, boy. A whole lance right there. On both sides of us, even. Oh, my God. What a horrible place to drop us. So, it looks like we have to hunt down that longbow. Look where they dropped us. These are my lan this is my lance or two lances. There's a force here and there's a force here. Now wait a second. I'm doing missions. These must be allies. I don't remember them saying. So these guys must be on our side because they're not they're, they're blue. I don't remember them saying that there was an allied force here. Okay, so this isn't as bad as I thought, but these guys are bad guys. These are the pirates. Okay, great. And I got one ghost again. I had a ghost in the last fight I was into. All right, that's okay. That's not too bad then. We got a little bit of allied support behind us. I wish they were in front of us, but can't really shoot these guys until they lose their evasion bonus though, so. Let them make the first move, if I can. Of course, my ally is going to pull the trigger first. Yeah, see? Very effective. But I get some advantage of my evasion, too. 
If I were planning an ambush, this is where I'd put it. Now we gotta move in. Now they lost that evasion defense. Watch out, that thing will blow up. Light damage, Commander. Just four of them. Should be able to get through these guys pretty easily. More hammer. Ooh. Watch it. You. Get him out of harm's way first. Aye, aye. Copy that. Oh, yeah, this is great. So there's we're 12 pirates. Should be. This should be three groups of four. Three lances. Commander? And we got our eight plus our allies, which I think are four as well. So it's 12 versus 12. This is a big battle. Considering it's an assassination mission, we still got to hunt down that longbow. Alright, I'm just going to start alternating these right away because this is going to get hairy. I had a lot of heat problems in the last fight. I expect to have more of this one. Tinker has a, a mortar. Perfect. He has one shot, but let's see how much damage I can do with Tinker. What's up, boss? Yeah, I'll get you over here. Location confirmed. Your shadowy Atlas. Downrange. Took out the building. Did a little bit of damage to all of them. Waiting for orders. Okay. Well, let's screw it. Just gotta hope they don't hit this stupid thing and make it blow up. Critical hit. Well, they're, they're all done. They already took their turn, so I'm not worried about these guys. Standing by. Not until next round. Anyway. Heading out. I need to get a mortar on one of these stalkers. Ready for orders. Archer was in the shop, so I had to put Coyote in the new uh, uh, catapult. This guy in front. On it. Target taking a critical hit. All right, out Waiting on you, Commander. Wow, he's way back there. On my, my way. Special delivery. Another hit like that, and you're toast. All right. Allies. 
guys need anything to do. Nice. Most of those hooks. Another long bow. Oof, they're all getting a little soft. Mushy armor, lots of holes yes, in there. Okay, get into the tree line. Position confirmed. Okay, give me another shot at him. Position confirmed. Oh, they're also soft and mushy right now. Aye, Nope. Cast his turn again. Yes, Commander. Trees. Roger. Stop. Think I hit something good. Goodbye. You're a tough guy, but you can't take on this many laser blasts. Firing everything I've got. That's a kill. Guy really like that grasshopper build. It has its place. It has its place. Let me say that. I use, if I lose sugar glider, I'm not, I'll probably have to send it down into supply because I don't have anybody else that's even using the thing. What can I do for you? It's kind of like her private mech. Coordinates received. Oh, you want to bet how much of the damage is going to hit my the mech I'm aiming at? How much of it's going to end up in a building? Take this. Little building bought it. <laughs> the big one took some damage, but it's not enough to take it down. Ready for, for orders. Okay. Miss Atlas. Can't quite get in the pool. Oh, what is that girl? Reporting critical hit. Waiting for orders. Location confirmed. Got it. Oh, that's not gonna save you. Oh wait, that's my guy. That's an ally. Ready for orders. As long as they got eyes on us. It's time to shut these eyes out. Reporting. Critical. 
full hit. Come back at the other one, though. That's fine. I don't think we need their help here anymore. Ooh, so that's the next lance we're gonna have to face. It's two weeks that I'm going to use these headphones before I get another a new pair. Okay, let's go. That whole block got fucked. I really love it. Receiving you. You. On it. Mm -hmm. Confirm. Fire. Thank you. Ugh. Losing lots of armor. Come on. Into the fountain, cool down. Taking a shot. Inflicted some heavy damage. Still didn't bail out. Good to go. All right, get another kill here. Right, Commander. Scratch another target. Receiving you. All right, sprint. On it. I hear ya. Sprint. Cool down. It's good to go. Standing by. Confirmed.
stocking on target. <laughs> Let's get this done, team. I'm here. I'm gonna have to go find an old radio headset, headphones. This is getting ridiculous. Okay. Acknowledged. I should have to unplug it every friggin' ten minutes. Keeping their distance. Waiting on you, Commander. You betcha. Waiting for orders. Ping enemies. Ping enemies are something you, so, something you do when you can't do anything else. Help was out of range. Commander? Yeah, she is way out of range. Double time. Standing by. So she even worse because she's slow. Confirmed. Ready. Affirmative. Target quiet. Ready for orders. Roger. Got him. Yeah, he's gone. It's just one of those days. Targets taking a critical hit. Commander. Firing.
exciting. There's still another lance out there. Oof. These really they should not have been leading the charge over there. They should be standing way back. Charge with your Ready artillery for order. units. Artillery units stay in the back where it's safe. Safer at least. Solid connection on that one. shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Yes, Commander. Copy that. Target taking a critical something. hit. Not in good shape. Receiving you. I'd like to hit that thing over there. Uh, all right. Got it. Is going to be enough. Poof. Oh, it's on now. somebody else to get eyes on them so my artillery unit could hit them. Hit this. Waiting for orders. Sprinting. Orders. Confirmed. Engaging with target. 
I hear you. Affirmative. Firing everything I've got. Waiting for orders. Still have one more support lance plus the target pirate himself. Commander. Okay, well, let's split up. Let's put these guys down. So there's one over. Okay, there we go. There's one by the building. Is that a vehicle? Don't know. Ready for orders. Okay, going around. One less structure. Yep. Double time. Let's go. Ready for orders. Oh, he can shoot. Confirm. Roger. Ah, tucked on the building instead of the mech. <laughs> Help me out here. Standing by. Taking the shot. Waiting on you, Commander. Pedal to the metal. Receiving you. Up. Just keep softening them up. Here we go. That. All right. Standing by. 
Location confirmed. Oh, one of those hit him in the center chest. She scored a critical hit. She ended him. Standing by. Oof. Oh yeah. Open up the building so you could go through the space. Aye aye. Say <laughs> that's a tough mech. He wasn't getting destroyed, but he was taking his hits and he decided that was enough. Alright. Three more mechs in the support lands, and then there's the I can't take much more of this. Elite mech warrior. Whoa! Easy on the armor, buddy. Spot it. Standing by. Roger. Engaging with Tom. Reporting. Major armor loss. Oh, Commander. Suck it up, buttercup. Location confirmed. Aye, aye. Just Inflicted some heavy damage. And knocked it down. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. Taking the shot. Target's taken a critical hit. Order. Shoot. Critical hit, Commander. Receiving you.
Hmm. Took all of that. Take that. Let's just finish these guys out. Finish them off. Yeesh. He's already complaining about how much damage he's taking. Yes, Commander. Good to go. Alright, we're gonna go hunting. Right, Commander. Orders. Acknowledged. What can I do for you? Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. All right, finish him off. Move order received. Roger that. On it. Moving to position. Commander. Coordinates received. Affirmative. Okay, well. Ready for orders. Point is on. I copy.
Standing by. So far away. Commander? Hey. Sorry, it's in range. Good, good, good. The artillery people, they start firing their missiles. Primary target damage, Commander. Bad part is if he decides to run, but he's not fast, so that's the good Critical hit, Commander. Oh, I had this battle. I didn't record it. It was so great. I hear you. Same mission. It was an assassination. It was on a, I don't know, it was on a tropical world, I think. Yeah. With the islands and lots of water. And the target we had to hit was a cicada. And cicadas are ridiculously fast. So we were in the middle of the fight, and we hadn't even wiped out all the units. And all of a sudden, I hit the cicada once or twice, and they decided to Order. bolt. They said, oh, he's running for it. Ran right by most of my guys, <laughs> beating a hasty retreat. I managed to get a few more shots in him, yes, but I couldn't Commander. do much damage. Uh, ran right past the last of my guys, heading towards the uh, evac zone, his own evac zone. And I decided, well, I'm going to send one guy after him just in case. So I said, I don't remember what it was. It was a battle master or... No, I think it was that... Uh, the Zeus, because I was able to sprint and shoot. Yes, come Not that it mattered, because it was so slow. It just, it, I couldn't catch up to this thing. And Roger, he got into the uh, escape circle, and I still hadn't gotten back within range to hit him. But his transport hadn't come. I, I didn't know if Ready he, for orders. The, you know, his evac wasn't instantaneous if he had to wait for a certain turn before he could be back. But he stopped playing defense. He stopped moving. He, he stayed. He kept his back to me, and I was the pursuer. I was chasing him. Give him everything you got. He just stopped in the circle. He didn't even get into the tree line. So he had no real proper defense. So eventually I was able to get just within range. Orders. And I fired off my, my full range of, of weapons and destroyed him. It was like, oh my god, I cannot believe that happened, because he should have gotten away for sure. That would have been a mission failure. Coordinates received. I couldn't believe it. Well, that's not going to happen this time. These longbows are not fast. Standing by. Waiting for orders. Firing on target. That's a critical hit. Yes, Commander. I copy. I don't even know why I'm even pursuing with these other ones. They're never going to get within range. What can I do for you? Commander. No hit missiles. They're too slow to get in within range, so I'm just going to stop them there. Yeah, LRMs at that range are not going to be very effective. Commander. I'm 
here. On my way. That's not good. I might have to get him some more ammo. Cut into his armor. That was a long, big battle, though. Not quite as thrilling. Didn't really get close to taking any of my guys out. Lost a lot of my pirate, but look, I gained. Federated Sun, so that's, this is the back and forth I'm talking about here. I might have to stay here for one more mission. I don't know. Another Black Knight, which I still don't think I have one complete. A lot of big mechs. Uh, let's see, anything else? Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, lots of good stuff. So that I got a bunch of it without even trying to get it. Oh, that was brutal. I don't think I can afford to stay here though. I gotta wait around to get my mech warriors back in tip top shape and get my mechs fixed. So that's gonna take some time. That's why I don't like. I like waiting until transport when I do that. I'm also a little low on money. I might have to sell some stuff. I made a little bit of money there, but not as much as I could have. Alright, finally got a black knight. Yeah, I guess I got enough if I move. I'll be able to get to the next system. Uh, let's check my mech bag, because these are all in bad shape now. Well, it's the same floor, I guess. I didn't. I said it. I, I did say that it, it didn't really take a lot of damage in that fight. Okay, that one's okay. Yeah, just get took a few crits, no big deal. Oh, he almost lost that e ERPPC. I got dang lucky in that one. Oof, look at that. Oh man, it's gonna be a lot of red. A lot of red. This is a heat bank. I do not have, that's the best one I've been able to find. I don't even have a heat bank right now. Get him one ton back, but it's going to be so heat inefficient. I lost my heat exchange, but at least I got another one of those to replace it. Let's see, cockpit mod. Yeah, he's going to need injury resistance for sure. This thing is one of the smallest mechs I got going, and I got no oh, plus one. This plus one. Ish. Come on. Arm. All I had was a simple arm mod.
so that's the same. Heat sink. good right now. Just take the accurate one and I'll replace it later. And that puts me a half ton under. But my heat efficiency is half of what it was. Jeez. This is not Good. Woof. Right. I'll, I'll get it in the schedule. All right. There wasn't anything in the store. And as far as contracts go, there's still good stuff here. I can get my pirate mission back. Get some uh, pirate love back. Again, it's going to cost me some Federated Sons. It's a ping pong game. are in a different world, but free passage, they'll pay for my transportation, so, you know what, I'm going to have to do another pirate mission to equal things up a little bit, so I'm going to have to do distraction, probably, um, I'm going to save that for next time, let's see, what else do we got here, so my little detour, I went to Salem, because we were at Nova, uh, Novaya Zamalaya, and instead of the route that continues went around these, and instead of going to those worlds, I went, I went basically here, because it was only a few days away, and then to there. This is our inevitable destination. There's Argyle. Unless I want to bypass it, because it doesn't look as as good as it used to. I might just go right to New Avalon. But I'm not going to go there until I'm ready. I want to make sure, because there's no pirates there, I need to make sure I do pirate missions here to pad that stat, pad that loyalty high enough so when I do missions against pirates, then I have something to soak the damage, so to speak. So that's where I'm at. Still on the, on the tra uh, traversing the entire breadth of the uh, Federated Suns space on my journey to the Outworlds. Ugh. It wasn't maybe the most exciting battle, but it did. I mean, as you can see, I'm I'm really soaking some damage. I am gonna have to burn some days because I don't have any uh, mech warriors. They're all tired. Plenty of mech warriors. Maybe I should have most of my mechs fixed now. <sighs> so, here is my uh, currently, this is what I'm currently using for my um, hunchback. Jacked up AC 20, plus 20 damage and stability damage is pretty good. It's doing 120 damage. That's friggin' awesome. Um, it's got its built in uh, grapple frames, which uh, decrease. The, uh, initiative uh, phase that uh, successfully grappled opponents um, basically forces them to lose their initiative. Got one big arm mod because he basically is going to be shooting and then trying to grab people on his cool off turns. Doesn't have a huge amount of ammo. Only 10 rounds. And I got to see if that's going to be enough. Um, I only had a range finder available it wasn't great I did put the, t the best TTS I could plus three accuracy for ballistic so this thing is going to be really dang accurate um, and then a gyro mod that improves his melee hits so basically 
I could I, I had two lasers on here and I decided you know what I need the armor more than I need the lasers so I took them out I think I put one more ton of ammo in and then put a ton of armor on um, this is typically what I do with my my hunchback it's a one weapon mech I mean it's a one hit killer that thing can destroy almost anything if it hits it in a sensitive enough spot and the other one is of course the catapult which you already saw I was using that in that battle uh, a missile boat generally they I think generally they mount LRM 15s um, when I tried to put 220s on here it was just way too heavy but since it has two hard points in each each arm I try to find the good balance um, I was gonna put the uh, what is it the Artemis LRM 20 in here but it just if I did that it would cost so much in weight so I decided let's figure out the right balance so I got an LRM 15 with update up uh, graded damage and an LRM 10 in the other arm with upgraded damage and then for shorter range we got an S standard SRM 6 with pretty good upgrade and then the Artemis 4 SRM 6 with upgraded damage so it's essentially the long range is firing those things as it gets closer it can fire in the, the SRMs and the medium lasers and you notice the all of his energy weapons are in the center torso so it's kind of a vulnerable spot and then if he gets close enough or if he you know after the missiles are all fired off and he's pretty much using melee damage then he's got small lasers to supplement his damage not a bad build we'll see how it plays in the long run as you can see there's some shaved off some armor but missile boats generally try to stay as far away from direct combat as possible so it's not the end of the world having a little bit of shaved off uh, armor not bad we'll see how it plays out I'm not sure what the future is going to hold for my Ostal and Hunchback is going to be up and down who knows if it gets if I lose another uh, AC 20 because all it takes is a big right shoulder you know critical and boom it's gone I may end up sending it back down, bringing up a bigger mech, because it it's, it's a 50 ton medium mech. It's the smallest mech in my fleet. It's, it, well, it's basically replaced the, uh, what was the one I sent down? No, actually no, I, I didn't have any other medium mechs up here for a while, but I decided I wanted to bring one back, and that was, you know, the Hunchback can hold its own with the big guys. Basically, because if it gets in close, it can destroy even an assault mech. Just right between the eyes. Dead. Oh well, that's where I'm going to end it. Another adventure. I'll do a few more battles in between, and then next video I record, we should be in New Avalon. <laughs> we'll see.